Welcome to the Crypto Daily News. This podcast is created by Generative AI. Today is November 11th, 2024, and we're diving into the latest developments in the world of cryptocurrency. From Bitcoin's soaring value to innovative platforms reshaping decision-making, we've got a lot to cover. Links to all stories can be found in the episode notes. MicroStrategy's Bitcoin portfolio has reached a staggering $20.5 billion, thanks to Bitcoin's price hitting an all-time high of $81,670. With 252,200 Bitcoin in its possession, the company's ROI has surpassed 104%. MicroStrategy's ambitious 2121 strategy aims to raise $42 billion to further boost its holdings. Meanwhile, Bhutan and El Salvador are also reaping significant gains, with Bitcoin holdings contributing substantially to their economies. Bitcoin's price surge past $80,000 has sparked optimism in the crypto market, driven by positive sentiment following the US elections. The futures market is bullish, with traders betting on further price increases. The concentration of negative gamma at the $80,000 strike suggests potential volatility, as market makers may need to hedge their positions. Futarchi, a new decentralized platform on Ethereum, is set to transform organizational decision-making through prediction markets. By allowing market transactions to reflect support or opposition to proposals, Futarchi aims to provide more informed insights than traditional voting. The initiative, backed by experts like Robin Hansen, seeks to align incentives and enhance governance in DAOs. Vitalik Buterin explores the concept of infofinance, which leverages prediction markets to gather valuable insights across various fields. He highlights the potential of integrating AI to improve these markets, envisioning applications in governance, science, and social media. Buterin calls for a broader exploration of infofinance's societal implications. Cast Official is launching a global on-ramp for USDC via SWIFT transfers with minimal fees. Initially targeting high-value transfers, CAST plans to lower the minimum requirement and expand globally. This initiative aims to simplify stablecoin access for compliant users, offering a low-cost off-ramp option as well. The recent US elections have generated optimism among crypto founders, with A16Z Crypto seeing potential for regulatory clarity and innovation. The firm advocates for frameworks that support decentralization and consumer protection, encouraging projects to minimize centralized dependencies. A60Z also offers guidance on using the DUNA structure for U.S. projects. Bybit has opened registration for Chinese users, a significant policy shift that could tap into a massive user base. However, this move has raised concerns internally, as the exchange's certification page still lists mainland China as a restricted jurisdiction. Meanwhile, Binance faces layoffs amid market challenges though it continues to recruit for open positions. Bitcoin's rally past $81,000 has analysts predicting further gains, potentially reaching 93,554. This bullish sentiment extends to altcoins like Ethereum, Solana, Sui, and Aave, which are breaking resistance levels. Despite concerns about overvaluation, the market outlook remains positive, contingent on maintaining key support levels. That's all for today's episode of the Crypto Daily News. We hope you found these insights into the ever-evolving world of cryptocurrency both informative and engaging. Be sure to check the episode notes for links to all the stories we've covered. Join us next time for more updates and analysis. Until then, stay informed and stay crypto-savvy.